And just like that. So for years, I've always thought the perfect thing I would like to do is to build my own fishing bicycle. And these days with electric bikes and doing stuff, it kind of made more sense. Now, I should say it's always been a dream to try to do something like this. And now it's finally come reality. And this is gonna be a multi-series video, bunch of videos, because I'm just driving through the neighborhood. Because what I've done is I've partnered with, you can hear the brakes are a little squeaky, I've partnered with Hi Boy. They are an e-bike, electric e-bike company that makes a fat tire bike that is pretty much perfect for me. Uh, it has the right stuff that I want to do and I'm going to mod this bike to make it better and I'm looking forward to being able to take this out and go fishing with it. So I'm going to put a fishing rack on it and something to hold tackle and all sorts of stuff as I try to improve this bike to make it my ultimate fishing bicycle because here's here's what happens down here in Florida there is ponds and lakes and all sorts of stuff all over that have bass in them but the problem is is you got to ride the bike or, or walk the path to get to those areas and I'm not getting young I'm not getting any younger I'm old I'm over 50 and I've always wanted to do something like that so this new bike from High Boy is going to really help improve my fishing. And some of the reasons why I went with High Boy and partnered with High Boy was because of the puncture resistant tires that it has, the thicker tires. It is has all Shimano products inside of it, Shimano gears and all that stuff. It can go up to 28 miles per hour, actually a little bit more. It has a pedal assist. It has a bunch of things that just make it easier as an angler. This High Boy P6 fat tire bike was perfect for me because of all the situations that I like to do. I don't wanna go someplace where it's, you know, it's hot year round here. And if I can get something that can do a majority of the work, the heavy lifting, and then me do a little bit of pedal assist, and then go fishing, and then create the content that I wanna create, then I think it's a good opportunity to do something decent. And as you'll see, it's, this thing has hydraulic suspension on the front, it has a great seat. It took me eight minutes to put the whole thing together. I'm not joking. I was gonna film the whole thing showing me putting it together, but then I realized that might be a little bit boring but it took eight minutes for me to put the whole thing together. Now it has a charge time of four to six hours to get it completely filled, but I don't mind that because I'm not gonna ride it at night so I can just plug it in at night. And with that 60 mile range and 28 plus miles per hour, hey guys, this is a great opportunity for me to take my fishing to the next level. And that's what I wanna do. So you'll see some videos with this and I'm looking forward to doing it. And of course, you'll get to see all the modifications as it happens. First modification I did, I actually got a, a uh, cell phone holder. So my cell phone holder is right there. And that allows me to, if I have a, an issue or something, now I have that. And there's just so many little things on this bike that I really think are impressive. It's not only the speed, it's the range, it's the comfort, it's how quick it put to, I put it together. It offers something for me that I've always dreamed of doing, and that's making my ultimate fishing bike, ultimate fishing bike build, and that's what this is gonna do. So I hope you guys like these videos, and we'll see.